plans for me are good You hold my future You're working all the time You're the mountain mover From sunrise to sunset Till the sun comes back up again You're by my side With the bad air, in with the good. Give it up! Clunky! Left one! Come on, get! Get, get, get! I'm ready! One, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight, this will be a piece of cake. Oh, oh. 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 you were so fast. Two out of three? Eight out of ten. All right, one, two, three. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And welcome to the So-and-So Show. And I personally am very excited to be here today because mm -hmm. I have something special up my sleeve. Oh, really? You got a surprise for us? No, I have something special up my sleeve. Oh, you meant that literally. I mean, usually when people use that expression, it's because they have a surprise or they have something unexpected to share. Oh, well, I have that too. Oh, really? What is it? Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Ooh. Come on in. Grab a seat. All right. Uh, you're Lawson's sister? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Yeah. Brandon? Oh, yeah, you know me. Yes, Brandon is my name. Lawson, talk about me? Yep. Uh, who does he think's funnier, me or John? Uh... You know what? I have a better question for you. Why don't you tell us who you are and what you know? Ooh. Well, I'm Ivy Catherine, and I know a lot about music. Oh, well, that's cool. Do you, do you play an instrument or something? Yeah, I play several, uh, but the most fun is playing in our family band. Family? You have a family band? I've told you this before, Brandon. No, you have not. I would have remembered that. Flashback! What are we going to do on the show this week? I feel like we've done everything. Oh, we could bring on my sister and brothers. We have a really cool family band. There's just nothing new out there. And that's happened three other times. I'd flash back to those two, but it's literally the same interaction. No way. I'm sorry, Lawson. A family band sounds really cool. 
thanks. Yeah, what kind of music do you play? So we do mashups and covers of songs, but we have our own unique style of how we do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are seven of us, but we all play the same piano. But it's not just the keys. We open up the top and we play the strings and the sides of the piano as well. What? Seven people on one piano? Most of the time, yeah. Sometimes we'll add in a few other things like a tambourine or a bongo drum, but that's it. No, wait. Okay, does it hurt the piano to like bang on it like that? No, not at all. It's actually a very robust instrument. Huh. Everyone wonders that though. Yeah, that must be a lot of hard work getting the parts down just right. It is. Uh, two of our brothers do the arrangement, and then from there we divide up the parts, learn the music, figure out choreography, and then it's hours and hours and hours of practice. Uh -huh. Yep, we practice until we fall over. Seriously? <laughs> no, not until we actually fall. You know, we, we just practice a lot. Because if one person gets off beat, it can throw off the whole piece. Oh, well that makes sense. So how long does it take for you to learn one piece? Uh, about a month from start to finish. Yeah, it takes a lot of commitment, even just for one piece, but I think it's totally worth it. Do you want to see a sample? <laughs> Absolutely. Cue the video. You guys, that was, that was, thank you for coming on the show, Ivy Catherine. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, man, Lawson, that was great. Seriously, you should have told me you had a family band sooner. Damn I you. did, Brandon. It's I Bible Story Time with Kevin.
Hey, guys. Hey, Kellen. Hey, hey. What's going on today? The Lawson sister came on. Their family is so talented. Did you know he's in a family band? Of course. Lawson's always talking about them. Okay, I get it. What's going on with you, Kellen? Well, today's story begins with Jesus and his disciples hanging out where people gave their offerings at the temple. You guys up for helping me out? Sure thing. You got it. Great, because it's time for our human head puppet theater. Whoa. Sure is a big crowd of people to give money at the temple today, right, Jesus? I have so much money. Hmm. How should I lighten the load of my heavy pockets? I guess I'll give some to the temple. To God. Because I'm so generous. Hee 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 hee. Money. Jesus watched the crowds come and put their money into the offering boxes. A lot like how today we put money into the offering at church. There were a lot of rich people who came and gave large amounts. Oh, don't mind me. Just giving a lot of money today. Yeah. Wow, the people here really are generous. Don't you think so, Jesus? Ha! Huh. How much should I give to God today? I have a lot. I suppose I can give a lot. Ooh, look at me being all generous and stuff. A little later, a poor widow came into the temple. She put in two very small copper coins. They were only worth a few pennies. What? That lady caught your attention? Jesus said, that poor widow has put more into the offering box than all the others. What? No, no, Jesus, didn't you see what all the others gave? I mean, they gave way more. I mean, way more. The others gave a lot because they are rich, but she gave even though she is poor. She put in everything she had. That was all she had to live on. That is generous. Jesus knew that by giving all she had, the poor widow was trusting God with her entire life. The end. Bravo! That's amazing. Isn't it? The poor widow had so much faith. She showed us what it could look like to live completely for God. I wish I had that much faith. You can. But, like everything else, living for God takes practice. It takes commitment. Like with your family band. Totally. Thanks for the story, Kellen. Anytime. I'll see you guys later. I really do want to learn how to live for God. Well, then let's learn together. Hmm? Reveal the question. How can you live for God? Yeah, that's a big question. Where do you even start? It's like Kellen said, it takes practice. You yeah. can practice by hearing what God says to us in the Bible or through other people. Yeah, you can live for God when you pray and when you talk to other people about Him. Yeah, it's about honoring God and treating others the way you want to be treated. What are some of your answers? How can you live for God? You guys talk it out, and we'll see you next time. I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And this was <laughs> the, the So and So, and so Show. Show. So and So. So, show, so, so, show. Is that the so and show? Yes, I think it is. Wow, the so and so show is my favorite kids show ever. Five, six, seven, eight, off. Oh. Coming to a streaming service near you. Recorder solo. This was a mistake. We took a vote, you're out of the band. <laughs>